The first asteroid in Lucy's path turned out to be a binary system. On its way to Jupiter's Trojan asteroids, the Lucy spacecraft passed near the small main asteroid belt asteroid Dinkinesh. During the flyby, it turned out that the asteroid was not alone. There is a smaller rock orbiting Dinkinesh. The asteroid Dinkinesh, affectionately called Dinky by astronomers, orbits in the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This was not the primary purpose of Lucy, but given that it was in the spacecraft's path. NASA researchers took the opportunity to test Lucy's capabilities. In the weeks before the asteroid's flyby, the Lucy mission management team wondered whether Dinkinesh was actually a binary system. This was suggested by instruments aboard Lucy, which showed a strange change in the brightness of the space rock. The first images from the close flight dispelled all doubts. Dinkinesh turned out to be a binary system. Lucy flew about 430 kilometers from Dinkinesh at a speed of 16,000 km per hour. Data from Lucy's instruments showed that Dinkinesh is not a single asteroid. As initially thought, but a binary system composed of a larger rock 790 meters wide and a tiny, moon, 220 meters wide. The flyby of Dinkinesh was intended primarily as a test of the probe's capabilities, with particular emphasis on checking the system that allows Lucy to autonomously track the asteroid. The images returned by the spacecraft indicate that the tracking system performed as expected, even when the universe presented us with a more difficult target than we expected, said Tom Kennedy navigation and navigation engineer with the mission management team. It's one thing to simulate, test and practice, but it's another thing to see it actually happen, he added. We knew it would be the smallest main belt asteroid ever seen up close, said Keith Knoll of Goddard Space Flight Center. The fact that it turned out to be a binary system makes it even more exciting. In some respects, these asteroids look similar to the near-Earth binary asteroid systems Didymos and Dimorphos. But there are some really interesting differences that we will study. He added, the binary system the researcher mentioned was used last year to test our capabilities to defend Earth against potentially a space rock that threatens the planet. In 2025, Lucy will fly past the main belt asteroid Donald Johansson, then leave the asteroid belt and enter Jupiter's orbit. Lucy will be the first probe in history to examine Trojan asteroids. These are two groups of small objects orbiting the Sun outside the main asteroid belt, in an orbit similar to that of Jupiter. These bodies were trapped by the gravity of Jupiter and the Sun during the formation and evolution of the planets. So scientists consider them to be fossils from the first period of the formation of the solar system. Between 2027 and 2033, the probe will examine seven Trojan asteroids five in a swarm orbiting in front of Jupiter and two in a swarm following the gas giant. The largest of the objects Lucy will examine is approximately 95 kilometers in diameter. Lucy will fly past the target objects at a distance of about 400 kilometers from their surface and use its onboard instruments and large antenna to study their geology, including composition, mass, density and volume.
A teratoma with teeth discovered in a 3,000-year-old Egyptian burial. During excavations at the ancient Egyptian cemetery in Armana, archaeologists unearthed the remains of a woman buried over 3,000 years ago. In an ancient corpse, scientists discovered an ovarian tumor located in the woman's pelvis. The two-pronged tumor is the oldest known example of a teratoma, a rare type of cancer. Teratomas are cancers that originate from germ cells, which are cells that can differentiate into other types of cells and form many types of tissues. This means that teratomas can contain parts of any part of the body. Most often, these are hair muscles, teeth, or bones. Less often, teratomas contain more complex forms, such as eyes or parts of the brain. It is a rare type of cancer that usually occurs in the ovaries or testicles. Currently, the typical treatment is to remove the tumor. Recently, archaeologists discovered a teratoma in a woman buried over 3,000 years ago in the Egyptian necropolis of Armana. So far, only four other archaeological examples of this type of cancer have been found. Three in Europe and one in South America, more specifically in Peru. The newly discovered teratoma is the oldest example. The results and description of his research were published in the International Journal of Paleopathology. The remains of a woman suffering from cancer were found in a New Kingdom cemetery in Armana. It is a city on the eastern bank of the Nile, about halfway between Cairo and Luxor, ancient Thebes. This city was built by Pharaoh Akhenaten as the center of a new religion based on the cult of the god Aten. It was also the seat of his royal court, a city inhabited by 20,000 people. 50,000 people were abandoned shortly after the pharaoh's death in 1336 BC. Archaeologists have examined four large cemeteries associated with Armana. In one tomb they found the skeleton of a young woman wrapped in a mat of plant fibers. The woman, who was between 18 and 21 years old at the time of her death, was buried with a number of items, including a ring decorated with the figure of Bess, a deity often associated with childbirth, fertility and protection. During the excavations, Archaeologists noticed something unusual in the woman's pelvis. A bone mass the size of a large grape with two cavities containing deformed teeth. The presence of teeth and location in the pelvic area indicated that it was an ovarian teratoma. The woman was buried with several goods, including a ring decorated with the image of Bess. This suggested to researchers that the teratoma was symptomatic. These types of tumors can cause swelling and pain, and if they rupture, they can also cause infection. The Bessa ring was placed on the woman's left hand, folded in her lap, i.e. above the teratoma. Scientists speculate that this may mean that the woman was trying to appeal or seek help from Bess to protect her from pain or other symptoms. She could also ask for help in trying to conceive and give birth to a child.